Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are testing out the brand spanking new Joa Cosmetics line. I'm gonna do a full face. You guys, I went wild. We are taking a little trip to CVS. We're on the hunt for Joa Cosmetics. So many of you guys have wanted me to try this out. And you know what? I'm really curious too. Wow, there's so much to choose from. Selfie ready. Full cover concealer or dark circle concealer. We're like going big with this. I'm just doing it the right way. A lot of makeup. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, one more. All right, off we go. Why won't this work? Please, I just need my makeup. <laughs> Ah, yay. 99. Thank you. Brings me right back to my Madness Monday days. I am saving $4. Let's go try on a bunch of drugstore finds. I'm so excited. So this is now carried uh, everywhere at CVS and I am just mesmerized by the names, by the colors, by the products, by the display. Just everything was so, so super cute. I'm just, I'm fascinated by K-beauty. I love Korean beauty. I think a lot of their stuff is so good. So beyond like the cutesy packaging and like just how, how fun everything is. Like it's super colorful. I love this lime green. I think beyond the packaging, this is gonna be some good stuff. And most of it is under $10. Who doesn't love that, right? Joa did send me a pretty decent PR package. They actually sent me really good macaroons. I had one, James had the other. They sent like this cute little box of two. Oh my gosh, I'm like exposing all of my sugar fantasies to you guys right now. Anyway, they sent over a bunch of really cute items, but it was not enough. I was looking at it and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna need more because this is really cute. And it's exciting that there's new stuff available at the drugstore and it looks really super promising. So I went full investigation and I grabbed like a little bit of everything. I spent way too much money at CVS. I got a few weird looks. They're like, oh, this girl really loves makeup. Okay, so I am on the Joa site right now and it is so cute. Meet Joa, inspired by K-Beauty, exclusively at CVS. They have um, a BB and a cushion, but I'm gonna go with this guy right here. This is the Truly Yours Natural Finish Drop Foundation. I also did get the Glow Activator Radiance Primer. This looks like it has little uh, gold flecks in here. Hello, could this be a dupe for Guerlain? We're gonna find out. And actually, I'm gonna start right there. This is what we're gonna crack into. You guys that are with me a lot, um, you know the first thing I'm gonna say. Let's say it all together. Ooh, it comes in a pump. I love everything that comes in a pump because then you don't have to get your fingers in it and it's like not dirty, you know? Keeps the product fresh. There's a lot of benefits to that. Ooh, this is actually, I think it's gonna be more like that YSL one that is a little bit greasier. I don't know, I don't like the grease with my priming but too late now, so we are testing this out. It feels nice. It does have a little bit of like an oil slip though. Fear not, I did also pick up a pore minimizing primer and I'm gonna put that on next. So this one right here is paraben free, oil free. First ingredient is water, jasmine, gardenia, bitter orange, chamomile, a lot of flower extracts in here. Let's see if this will minimize my pores because really I am ready to just like light my primer drawer on fire because I don't use any of it. Like I just bounce around from Tarte, sometimes Benefit Professional, but even that one, I'm kind of like, no. So Tarte, sometimes the whipped cream primer and then back to Tarte. I mean, it's pretty much just like that. I'm super picky, but don't you guys love that? Because then I can give you like the best of the best recommendations. So I'm gonna take about this much. It does not have much thickness to it, which that's what I like in a pore blurring or minimizing primer. No, I don't like it. I feel like a bratty child at the dinner table sometimes with products where, you know, your mom would be like, take a bite of broccoli, you might enjoy it, child. And you're like, no, I'm gonna hate it. And like you already in your mind are like, I'm gonna hate it. And like you take it and you're like, ew, I hate it. Mm. Like that's how I am with makeup. I'm super judgmental. <gasps> I'm kind of okay with it, whatever, okay. It's not terrible, actually. It is blurring a little bit. I just really like a thick press in, like really get in there, get rid of all of my pores 
please. You know, like that's what I go for. But if you like a lighter version of that, then maybe you would enjoy this. And for nine bucks, I think it's pretty good. So from there, we're gonna go into the dropper foundation. So this is said to be hydrating and brightening. It is a light weight coverage which I think the feeling will be lightweight and maybe that means the coverage will be light as well. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out. I did pick up their foundation brush. I always like to kind of at least wipe down new brushes because you know, they've been in a factory and people have been touching them and I just, I don't feel like rubbing that all over my eyes or my face, do you know what I'm saying? I am gonna work off of my palette. I'm gonna go ahead and take natural beige right here and I am going to just start working this into the skin. I will let you know straight away, don't be surprised. The shade range is horrific. There really is just not much. Didn't really know that until I was halfway into my adventure like at CVS. Now here's the thing, it is a Korean beauty brand and I don't know, like this is an interesting conversation and I'm kind of afraid to even like bring it up but with Korean beauty brands, you do notice that the shade ranges really cater to light to medium skin. Like I'm just gonna call it what it is. Is this a problem? Like, do you guys feel like if this is in the States that they need to expand? Because they do have a deep shade, like they do. It's just not the dominating shade. You know what I'm saying? And also I feel like this is a smaller brand as well. I don't know, like my feelings are all over the place. I talk about this a lot. I think it's really atrocious when, you know, like a L'Oreal owned brand does not come out with enough shades. But at the same time, like a Korean brand that is catering to a different demographic altogether like if you just look at numbers like do, is this still pissing you off like i genuinely want to know i get annoyed i'm just gonna say it like i get annoyed because i can remember working at the bare minerals counter and back in the day they only had four kits and whenever a woman with deeper skin like came in and sat down and wanted her makeup done like i felt like a like i felt horrible and i would bring this up to you know district managers and whatnot and they're like oh we're working on expanding and this and that and it was just really really sad so i don't know i feel like i do want to review as much as i can i'm always going to express what i feel like expressing and i guess just leave it at that okay so i don't like that foundation brush we need a sponge there we go obviously not like the most perfect color match for me, but this is going on really nice. And it's actually more full coverage than they let on. It's covering everything. I really, really love this. I hope that it stays looking cute because this is the kind of formula that a few hours from now, I feel it is very hydrating and it could kind of take a turn for a not so good foundation day. But I am gonna show you guys what all of this looks like at the end of the day, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna open up this Cream Contour Be My Everything Contour Palette. This is 15, this is 15.99. I'm gonna take a brush from Real Techniques and I think I'm gonna go into this shade right here. I'm not gonna play in these color correctors. Well, maybe I'll try the peach. I just, I usually don't do well with color correctors. And I don't find it necessary really for everyday life as I'm contouring. <laughs> it's just not for me. Some people really love them. I feel like I, it always looks pretty obvious on my skin for whatever reason. I feel like that's pretty decent. These contouring palettes, the issue that I have is you, you know, more often than not, you don't need all of these colors. You just don't, unless you're using this, you know, to do other people's makeup. I don't think that you're gonna use all of these shades. So far, this is actually pretty decent. I'm not gonna use the lighter shades. I'm actually gonna go in with the concealer. Okay, so now we have the Truly Yours Dark Circle Eraser. It was really kind of tough to shade match, to be honest, because they all kind of looked exactly the same. And that was a little bit of an issue. Wow, that's really nice. Ooh. Actually, that's beautiful. Wow. So this one is $7.99. The full coverage is $5.99. And it says, prepare to look fabulous. Okay, cool. So this one is the shade Natural Ivory. This one actually is a lot lighter. Wow, I got the wrong shade. Okay, so I will pick up a better shade match for me and I will continue playing because I really like everything that I'm trying so far. But I am gonna go over here Wow, that was way too much. And I am going to finish concealing. 
Now we need to set. So I have a peach setting powder and I actually really like a peach tone in setting powder. I find it can really help your dark circles to look minimized beyond just a yellow banana-ish setting powder, which can work for deeper skin tones. But sometimes that yellow shade can just look a little bit too harsh in my opinion. We're gonna go ahead and pat, pat, pat. Ooh, no! Okay, that grabbed at the concealer in a weird way where it kind of almost made it look darker. Do you see that? All right, so scrap everything I just said about it making you look you know, like your dark circles are more brightened and covered because on the face, it looks really, really beautiful. And I'm not even that upset with how it is under the eye. It just didn't do that typical brightening as much as it usually would do with like my Cody Airspun or Winky Lux. But I don't hate this. I actually really, really like this on the face. It's a nice finish and it's making my skin look really flawless and I'm not gonna complain about that. So this is cool. We are now gonna go into the powder contour palette. Oh. Wait, that's weird. <laughs> it says that this is the bronzer. What? No, that's not true. Come on, that's not the bronzer. That's the bronzer? No. Uh, no, mm -mm, that's not bronzer. I'm gonna go into the contour shade right here and try to bronze up the skin a little bit. Nice thing with working with a cream underneath is it just kind of pops the powder and you really don't have to do much as far as contour and bronze, it kind of works together. And then as you go throughout your day, it's gonna wear off more evenly because it's almost sandwiched in there. This says highlight right here. You know, I actually don't think this is the greatest. It's kind of bulky. The highlighter in here is not much at all. The bronzers, you know, doing a good job, but I wouldn't buy this just for the bronzer. So I'm gonna say that one actually is a pass. We are now in the highlighter palette. This packaging looks a little cheap. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it looks a little cheap. And I already love so many drugstore highlighters that this is just a really tough one for me. This better like blow my mind or I'm gonna be like, no. So we're gonna go into iridescent first and then maybe go into diamond dust. Now they have two different shade options. This was the lighter one. It's actually a little chalky. Like I never say that about highlights. And this brush, I, no. No, no, no. Okay, let's play with diamond dust. I'm just gonna like kind of tap in there. Pretty, but a little chalky, a little too stark in my opinion, and it's no Maybelline. So we're just gonna leave it at that and move into the blush palette. Now they do have a few options for this as well. I believe they have three different color selections. This one is in the shade Sunset. Now this says it's blush and bronze, which yeah, they do have kind of like a bronzer down here. So I'm gonna first go in to the bronze side and just touch up the bronzer a little bit more. I've actually been really, really into um, a few different bronzers right now. I was into the JLo bronzer, and then I was using Girlactic bronzer for a minute, and that's in my drawer right in front of me. Essence has a baked bronzer that I really, really love. Then BH, when I did my drugstore try-on, I really love that one, because there's like no skipping with it whatsoever. So there are a couple of bronze options for you guys. I'm gonna go in the middle here. This looks like it might not be the greatest color to work with. Um, it's more of a plum than a pink, which is not my normal go-to, but we're just gonna check it out. Actually, that's really pretty. Hmm, okay, uh, not bad. Not bad at all. I actually do really enjoy this one right here. I'm gonna put on this Tinted Lip Balm. This is in the shade La Bamba. I thought this looked really pretty. I'm so into like the L'Oreal Color Riche Balms. Oh, wow, what is happening? That's a lot more pigmented, pigmented than I expected. Whoa. This is gonna be one of those like, I'm highlighting the center of the lips type of a thing. It doesn't taste very good. Ew, back to the drawing board. We're gonna go in with Pink Nude Lip Liner. That's pretty. I mean, I have other lip liners, honestly, that I like more. This one does not give as much color as I would like for it to. Uh, now we're gonna go into the Satin Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade. Mwah. That's cute. Oh my God, it tastes like hairspray. Oh God. It's like a Glade candle on my mouth. 
I do have a brow product here. I'm just gonna go and do my brows like this close to the mirror and I'll tell you how it goes and I will be right back. I have to say I'm really enjoying everything for the most part so far. So we are gonna go into the eyeshadow palette. It does not look like there is a matte cream shadow in there. Actually, none of these are matte. I'm gonna go in first with the shade Cappuccino and you guessed it. I'm gonna throw this in my crease and we're just gonna start there. Well, that went on like a freaking dream. These blend pretty well, and I don't even have a primer or anything on my lid, so that's really cool. I am gonna go in with the shade Upbeat. Pretty dusty. I'm taking an Anastasia A12. I'm gonna kinda go a little lower in the crease and then also fluff it on the lid. It's a lot shinier than I thought it would be. You know, the tones in here are so nice though. This is super simple, but with the pink and the highlight and this whole like two-step, you know, on the lid type of a look, I like it. I am going to go on the lower lash line with the shade Cappuccino. Now this brand only has two shadow palettes and they don't have many wild colors. So this is gonna be more for the everyday natural type of a look. I'm gonna go in with good vibes on half of the lid. I was a little bit in the mood to do something maybe more wild. This is pretty tame, but it's really pretty. Like it's just kind of like fresh and pretty, right? So I'm gonna take the shade Whipped Cream and put this underneath the high point of my brow. I'm also gonna take that on the inner corner. And I'm actually not gonna take the darkest shade like I normally would on the outer edge. I just kinda wanna keep this simple, fresh, clean. I am gonna take the gel liner and I am going to line my waterline with this. I really wanna see if this is long wearing, what the scoop is, and see how quickly it collects in my inner corner. I'm also gonna line, I think like halfway down here. And now I'm gonna take the mascara. This is the Ice Cream Mascara, cute name. I'm gonna take the mascara on the lower lashes. That is some good mascara hole. Oh, it is not clinging my lashes together at all. Look at that. <gasps> wow. Please don't flake on me or smudge because I like you. I'm gonna finish off my look with the Selfie Ready Setting Spray. This is a matte setting spray. Sometimes mattifying setting sprays end up making me look really, really dry. I hope that's not the case, but we're gonna go for it anyway. And then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Smell like perfume. You guys, it is now past nine o'clock at night. My makeup is just like giving up on me right now. It is wanting to be washed off. I feel like that uncomfortable feeling at the end of the day when everything kind of gets a little itchy and like a little bit like it's breaking apart. It's not looking good. I'm not feeling cute and I'm just like ready to be done. So let's just go through the initial first impressions and my thoughts are completely gathered. So you guys know the contour kit is not for me. I think it's kind of a waste of money. I feel like this primer just felt too oily. I had hoped that maybe it was more gel-like, but it is very oily and slippery. And to me, I don't like that on my skin. So the foundation I do enjoy. I think there's a lot of promise here. I think it could be great. It's not incredibly long wearing. I feel like there were bits that were kind of breaking apart that I was kind of doing this business with and kind of doing this right here on my nose. But I think that was partly because of the primer. This has surprisingly great coverage. It feels very lightweight on the skin. It blends out really quickly and it doesn't settle in your lines straight away. Uh, the pore minimizing primer, you know, this might be something that some people enjoy. I like a thicker one. I already expressed that to you guys. This guy right here, I'm gonna give another go to. I think this was labeled incorrectly and that this is more of a brightening powder that you would put under your eye and then a highlight and then the contour. I don't think that's a bronzer. I'm gonna give it another go because I actually am really impressed with the quality of the powder. Speaking of which, this eyeshadow is bananas. Like this is so good. Birthday suit, I can't even get over it. I was swatching these and I was just like, wait, 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 wait. Like I did live swatches where I was like, Ch -ch -ch -ch, and you can see it is just smooth. There's no tugging. 
The pigmentation is beautiful. The blend is beautiful. I didn't wear a primer at all and everything just like fluffed perfectly into the crease and on the lid. And I think this is so fantastic. The mascara, so good. The concealer, yes please. I can't wait to try it some more. The selfie ready, not for me because this is mattifying and I do feel like my skin did start to look a little bit dry and you know, that's not my issue anymore. That's not my speed. I don't need to take down the oil or you know, do things to super mattify. And when I do, I feel like everything kind of gets out of whack and out of balance and my skin almost gets more oily because it's overcompensating. So I don't like to dry my skin out with sprays and that kind of a thing. I like to keep it as balanced as I possibly can. I definitely am going to reach for this more, the selfie ready setting powder really really good finely milled i didn't even tell you guys about this this is the brow pencil and i love it i think that this color is better for me than a lot of what i've been using recently and finally something at the drugstore that is not crazy expensive is like itty bitty tip teeny tiny precision it's just uh, it feels like a department store brand. When you are using this product, you feel like, yes, luxury, I love it. The lip products, I can't. Like, I didn't even like the liner. It was kind of waxy. The scent on the rest of this stuff, like I tried the gloss off camera. Mm, I can't, I'm wearing it right now and I'm like, <sighs> like, I, ugh. tastes like hairspray. Tropical hairspray. There's so many other options out there with makeup that if there is something like that going on with it, I know that I'm not gonna be excited to reach for it again because we only want the best of the best of the best. What else do we have right here? The blush palette, mm, highlighter, so-so. Mm, I don't think they're the greatest ever. I'm more excited about other things like this right here, the gel liner. This did not budge. It did not collect in my inner corners at all. I mean, like, look, there's nothing there. There's nothing underneath. I will totally keep using this. It is like completely matte too, which I love. So this is such a great liner. And I believe that is it. So I'm gonna continue playing with the things that I really, really loved. I hope that this gave you a good overview of the new line at CVS, Joa. I know we were all really excited. I'm still excited to explore more. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do that too. And then ring the bell so that you're notified of my upcoming uploads. I am here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 10 a.m. PST. I'm gonna start doing a new thing because for some of you that are here every day of the week with me, like thank you first off, thank you so much. But I think you're also probably like, yes, we know. We get it. So I thought it would be cute to kind of include some videos that I see on Twitter that always like melt my heart because you guys send me the best stuff. And I just wanna shout you out and I wanna share some of the moments throughout my day that, you know, I don't know, make me smile. And there was one today of um, sweet little baby, like blowing a kiss, mimicking my outro of my video. And honestly, like it just made me so happy. I was like, that is so pure and so sweet and so much love. And I hope you guys know every time that I blow a kiss at the end of the video, like that is my thank you to you. I love you. I really, really do. I know that I can't do this without you. And every time that I get to play with makeup and make videos like this, I just, I'm the luckiest and I'm lucky to have you guys watch. So, I hope to come hang out with me again soon. All right, I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Wasn't that the cutest ever? Like I just, oh, it just makes me happy. So we're ending things on a very high, warm and fuzzy note. I hope you're having a good one. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.